Like a blood in a crypt meeting. <laughs> hey man, well I was I was docs enough. They still identified me undercover with yeah. The I wasn't even I wasn't sure what to expect honestly. I just showed up and I'm standing around. People were actually pretty cool and calm at first, but then people just started saying stupid shit and throwing at the middle finger. And that's when I started. I gotta ask. Yeah, that's when I started trolling people. I was like, okay, if you want to get stupid, let's get stupid. I followed Joey in, and I'm like four feet from Joey, and then they all came swarming over those orange coats. And I was like, okay. my favorite person. I haven't seen that much black in my whole life. Oh, I know. I was like, okay, I know. Well, I don't know whether I should go left or right. Hey, I want to just say something really quick. Nah. Every time I'm coming here, they ask me why we're going to this very, very specific spot. First Portland, then Seattle, Westlake. I got the same question when I'm coming here. This is the absolute most important place to ever come. This is the epicenter where all of this is going down. I attend the University of Washington in Seattle. There are people there who are conservative who are scared to admit they are conservative. They hide and skulk in the shadows, fearful that they will be targeted and assaulted and followed to their car. I have been doxxed, I have been assaulted, I have been threatened. I am not even special about that. That is an, almost an everyday occurrence on a university such as Berkeley or the University of Washington, Seattle. Yvette Falorca was arrested today. She Boy, too. Southern, 
probably one of the largest rallies in decades, or possibly in the history of Berkeley, one of the largest conservative rallies. Antifa did not show up. There were zero instances of violence. Yep. Yes. Yes. That is what we're looking for. We are looking for no instances of violence. We Mr. Cole come cut here his finger on the beer can. to provoke violence. We come here to peacefully assemble. You beat someone over the head, Kyle. Exercise our Ignore First guys. Amendment right. And then once again, today we had almost no instances of violence except for one where Yvette Marka assaulted yeah. me. Yeah. 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 And now she's in jail. going to be Yvette Polarka Assaults, Bay Stickman, Kyle Chapman. <laughs> That's awesome! That's no, it's going to be hilarious, right? so, We're doing good. We're doing good, guys. Uh, today was another victory in the battle for free speech. Hi, guys. We're back this time. Thank you. Thank all of you. Yeah. 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 Down the street. I That's Kyle Chapman. Hey! Guys. hey. hey. Uh, speaking here, we are hey. 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 I wasn't planning on speaking today, but since guys, I'm here, I might as well take the opportunity out. since I missed it last time. Uh, um, we're all about diversity, aren't we? Yes! Blue Lives Matter? Out, yes. Black Lives Matter? Yes! All Lives, lives Matter? Yes! yes. There we go! Yes. You know, one of the reasons why I was so inspired to join up with MAGA crew is their words, not necessarily their actions, but I saw black people, brown people, Asian people, trans people being part of the community. It inspired me to want to come out. It inspired me to want to listen and hear everyone's point of view. And I always have to keep telling people as they try to come at me, it's like, oh, you're supporting white supremacists, you're supporting Nazis. I haven't met a Nazi yet. I haven't met no racists yet. Where are you at? I met no white supremacists. Yeah. I gave much love. Because I, I take the time to listen. There's and everyone, people. this hate that keeps surrounding us uh, is out of rhetoric. It's, it's, it's out of this form of like, this rising of virtue signaling that everybody wants to be more offended than the other person. And they use us and the flag as their target. That if you support the flag, you support America. Or Trump, that you must be a bad person. I know this because I used to think the same thing. I used to think, oh, y'all must be must be racist if you wear America hat. You must be far, far to the right if you wear American flag. I was wrong. And I'm glad I was wrong because I've met so many amazing people out here. No, he'll pick up Steve. Sure, come on up. You know, I've had some really great conversations today, you know, about race, about diversity. And one thing that I want to say really quickly is while I support MAGA, Trump's not going to be here forever. Whether it's just these four years or he gets eight years, Hopefully. make America great again will still be a statement that we need to get behind. Yeah. Who's ever the next yeah. administration? Yeah. So, the, so the next, when was it great? We can make it great. Now, right now. I think Afghanistan's better. <laughs> we need to focus on the things with the that big, do big make picture. great. <laughs> Diversity, being open to others' opinions, free speech, non-violence. These are the things that make us great. Not one to punch somebody just because he has a slight, slightly to the right of Bernie Sanders' opinion. Absolutely. I don't care, because we fine. We, fit, we good today, ain't we? Yeah. So to close up, I'm so happy I'm here. I'm so happy we got the opportunity to come out. I wish we didn't have to spend $800,000 just for people to speak. I wish Ben Shapiro didn't require $600,000 just for him to come up and have a very normal, a very normal lecture. You know, that was not hate speech. It wasn't, it wasn't about violence. It wasn't homophobic. It wasn't transphobic. It's really normal. And even if it was, you fight hate speech with better speech. If you have division with something I say, Fight me with something better. Yes. And that's how we're going to get it again. Thank you so much. We can handle. We can handle. The, uh, the, the, no, not that we can handle. We welcome. 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 We welcome.
Welcome to Sensing Opinions. Not my president. Not my president. What I'm saying, and I don't want to interrupt you, but really quickly, even when he leaves, we need to think about the things we can do now to make things great. We need to hold the police accountable. And we, we need to hold police accountable when they're wrong. We should hold more confidence in the police. That makes him a bad cop. But we get to vote in the sheriff. That's us. We get to vote in the sheriff. We get to vote in the mayor. But vote don't work. No, no. It doesn't work. Say that. It works locally. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Better than the alternative. Did you all hear Charles Wayne Grammy is incredible? Same as you on the side of the line. He's got it done. But as a whole, I'm not, I didn't single down what I'm out. But I know a lot of black folks and a lot of people that just don't have that money right is having a lot of problems with officers. And they're being rude and disrespectful and all kinds of things. doing it to the homeless. The homeless. the homeless. They need to treat the homeless better. Be the chairman. We need more black officers, right? We need to start with Fixing the police is daily work. We need to get rid of the police force. We need better leaders. We need to get rid of the police They won't hold the one that's bad accountable. But maybe also, 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 I didn't say all black. I said, I didn't say it. I said, maybe the problem is his brothers need to stop breaking so many laws and then they wouldn't have as many brothers in the car. Can I ask you a question? Maybe, maybe the change starts with you. Maybe the change starts with you, not with them. Tiny, you're ruining them to start. No, Tiny, you're too big. What do you think the change is? What do you think the change is? Tiny ain't so tiny. Yeah, right? There was a ton of empty seats, unfortunately. But thank you. Free speech revolution. I'll just keep the speech. Stick it out. We don't want to hit anybody. We shouldn't have to fight to find the ground. I I'm so go. You got me. Here's face. I'm actually, I agree with you. You'll find me on the agenda. Tino Ashton Gurney, A-S-H-T-O-N-E-I-R-D-Y. I want to come out here and make a statement. This movement, as people are claiming, it's not about white supremacy. It's not about neo-Nazis. It's not about even Milo. It's not about the Republican Party. It is about free speech. Yes. It is about us coming together, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, no matter what race you are or religion, but, you know, sexuality, gender, we are all here to make a stand together because this country is based on the rights of the people. Not the, not the big guys up top because they're the ones who are trying to tell us what to say and do. They're trying to tell us that it's hate speech and free speech. Because when it comes to free speech or hate speech, I hear from the left all the time calling me a white supremacist, calling me a Nazi, without even knowing who I am. I'm not a white supremacist. I'm not a Nazi. So how is that not hate speech? Yes. When I say things like, I'm pro-life, or yes. I believe in the Second Amendment, so that's hate speech, and I need to be thrown out, and I'm stuck with this awful racist that needs to be taken down. You know, people like Yvette Malarca and Sarah Taylor, they go out and punch people, they attack people. When we try to have peaceful rallies,
things like this. We accomplished something today where people came together of all types of people, political ideologies, races, religions, and we talked to one another. And that is what we need to achieve right here, right now. Yes. Not just at Berkeley, but everywhere. A amen. amen. Amber, why don't you go ahead and say, say a few words. Yeah, we got, we got to do something about this Marxist movement. Amber Cummings. Amber. Amber, Amber Cummings. Uh, Amber. What we need to do at this university, we're teaching hatred toward this country. It's coming to these social justice classes where they're speaking about Marxism, they're speaking about capitalism as a bad thing, about the history of our country, about the history of our people, and indoctrinating these kids to hate this country. And they're rolling these, uh, they're rolling these violent terrorists out on the streets to attack our people. And we gotta stand up for this. And this is the number one thing that's causing to divide people. The Marxists are causing to divide. They wanna cause racial division. They wanna use people like me, marginalized groups, and they wanna sit there and separate you and cause fights among each other. If they can get chaos going, they can get a revolution going. If they can get a revolution going, they can overthrow the government and break in their Marxism. This is all being done to divide us. And if you notice, it's all these events, all we do is talk about racial things. We talk about gender, we talk about sexuality. We need to be talking about these Marxist motherfuckers is who we need be talking excuse my language but we need to be talking about these people they don't want us talking about they're afraid when we talk about that's why when i have my event they went they went batshit crazy terrified they were terrified of me talking about marxism we're going to talk about marxism all you marxists out here we're going to take our country back and you scum will not have our country we will fight for it we will get it back we are not going to live under marxism every time marxism is put into place it brings tyranny and especially you you fools in the lgbt you need to understand we're the first ones outlawed thrown in the gulag and they're yeah. using us. As soon as they use us, they're going to use, they're going to throw us all to the side, and we're all going to be oppressed. This, this goddamn right. place Amber is a hive, a hive of right. communism. Right. We're going to stand up. Everybody say USA! 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 You marked it. It's a joke. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I took a picture. She thought you were a monster. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Hey, wait a second. If that's a joke and this is a joke, no, no, that's, you're risking violence, sir. This is one of the marches. I'm sorry about it. Tiny! Tiny! But you have to think we're in Berkeley. All right. Tiny, that is my name. I am known by the left side as a token, a white supremacist, a neo Nazi, a whitewash, and all that. But first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that came out here and stand up. Facebook, uh, You're you. welcome. Give yourself a big round of applause. But I want to talk about a few things this time. Where's all the Trump supporters here? Uh, here. What is the number one thing you guys want? How's Pizza and beer. Oh, wait, am I at the wrong place? <laughs> the wall. What is Trump always say? Make America great. But first of all, before we get to making America great again, we gotta kill the wall. I'm not talking about the wall in the border. I want you to look in your heart. Build the wall between you and hate. Build the wall between you and corruption. Build the wall between you and violence. Build the wall between you and fear. That is what we need. In order for us to make America great again, we need to build those walls. Set it up. Separate us from all these things. We cannot make America great again if we come out here with hate. We cannot make America great again if there's corruption in That is why I encourage everybody, look down in your heart, find it in your heart to open your ears and listen to somebody's belief that is different from yours. That is all there is. That is all free speech is about. It's about coming down to learning how to disagree without disrespect. If we can have that, we're going to make America great again. God bless all the patriots and keep on standing. Amen. All right. Woo. No fear, no hate. I got, a, I got a question for everybody because my grandfather was killed in World War II by a real Nazi. Yeah. I'm no Nazi. Okay? Yeah. My grandfather didn't live till his 20th birthday. Okay? He died to protect this country, to give us the freedom that we want. And the, the, the fact that we would even be called Nazis just because we don't agree with the left or that we are, a, are not a Democrat is ridiculous. And I wish it would stop. It's got to stop. All the name calling has got to stop. And I just want to say thanks, Grandpa, for dying. For us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everyone. My name is Crystal. Now, uh, 
remember you. A lot of people know me as Crystal Ann on Facebook. I have stood for veterans, our soldiers, and our fallen soldiers for a very long time. First, the 16 year war we've been going through, I have posted every fallen soldier through it. Every day they've passed, I've been posting the day they've passed. Now, I, I stand for our, our veterans. It's very hard to go My father is a Vietnam War veteran. He spent 23 years in the Army. And my, my brother is a Marine who is uh, now a deep sea diver in Florida. But I hold our military in high regard, in a, a very high regard. So when I was watching all this whole Trump deal go down and everyone silencing, silencing one side and allowing the other side to talk, they're really upset. Now I was raised hardcore Republican. I was raised speak your mind wherever you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. I was never told, don't speak. You should be able to talk wherever you want, yes. without fear of violence. Yes. So I never feared speaking my mind anywhere, and I will never do it. I do, however, I do, however, fear for my children and for my grandchildren now. So there, sir, I come out. I will continue coming out and marching with Joe because I will not allow the freedom of speech to be trampled on and my grandchildren to have their rights to silence. We gotta fight. We've got to. We gotta do this. If we don't I do this, definitely they're gone. Have a passion for our freedoms that were given to us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Good. That's what we need. That, we're not here just for us. We're here for them and more to my come. My father after fought us. in wars. My grand. My grandfather's fought in wars to maintain our freedom. So therefore, I may not have been able to actually fight in a war, but by God, I can fight here on our. Land, Amen. Here. That's what I've been and saying. Mark, Amen. Our rights, You're doing I will it. do it every single day if I have to. You're doing it. I am disabled. So therefore, You're still here. If I'm pushing past my limits to be able to do this. Oh, yeah, that's and that's I will that's do that's it every that's single that's day. That's Good job.